Hey guys, Captain Starlight here. Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own watercolour paints using just two ingredients. Well, technically three, I guess. Let's get to it. All right, guys, let's get to making some watercolor paint. So first of all, we're gonna use some of our corn flour and we're gonna put it into our water. Now we've got three quarters of a cup of water in here. We're gonna use about a quarter of a cup of corn flour, but do not despair. We are not gonna be doing anything like measuring because this is plant starlight and we like to do things the tricky way. So let's just put in some corn flour and we'll see how it's looking. Okay. Still too watery, so we're gonna add some more corn flour. But now that I've wet my spoon, I'm just gonna pour it like a mad captain. All right, here we go. Is that too much water? We'll find out together. Da -da 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 -da. Have a look at the consistency. Yeah, that's pretty good. You still want it to be fairly watery because we are going to paint with it, remember. But I might add just a little more. We just a little more. Let's give it a bit more of a swim around. Alright, well I'm pretty happy with that. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's pretty good. Watercolour paints, don't forget, are very, very wet because they've got the word water in the name. So, I'm going to take that. We are going to add some to our little paint tray here, very carefully. I'm going to make a few different colours, so I want to put them in different bits. You could use um, some bottle caps or um, you can use a bowl uh, if you want to make lots and lots of different colours. Put some here because I'm going to make some purple as well. And I don't know if you know this, but purple is just red plus blue. I'm going to put one, two, three drops of orange in there, because uh, yellow in there, sorry, because I just realized if I add some more red, I can make orange, and orange is also a super cool color. Okay, so now, just to uh, show you what it would look like, mix that up there, and voila, you've got some beautiful, beautiful green, and if I was to paint onto a piece of paper, whoops. all right. Here is my beautiful drawing, so I'm going to paint some nice green dots. Now normally you'd have a bit of water to clean your paintbrush off with. That's a favourite colour, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. There we go, a little bit of uh, yellow around the outside there. Now uh, we'll let that dry and you can have a bit of a uh, bit of a look, tell me what you think. Hopefully that was really fun and you enjoyed it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Here is my finished picture with my watercolour paint. Oh cool. You can see some of the green and some of the yellow kind of mixed together there. It's a beautiful thing about watercolour paints. So what you could try next is to draw a picture with some crayons and then paint over with your watercolour paints and see what happens. It's a little bit magical. Hope you enjoy that. We'll see you next time. Bye.